friends, Pamela Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here. I am so happy to be with you today. Um, what I was going to do is use some of the new things that I just bought to, just recently. And I'm going to make a card. I bought this on Amazon, this um, stamp. I thought it was really pretty. And I wanted to get one that had oh, the postage sort of stamps and what have you. I got a stamp that has um, te uh, text, and, and it's really nice. I actually already used it on just to test it a little bit. So that's kind of cool. I want to use those. I bought several different colors of the Nuvo uh, drops. These are the crystal drops. And then I got some of the Nuvo embossing powders and then I got some of these I didn't really know I bought these but I got the new Nouveau shimmer powder so I'm going to use all of these then I got a handful of these little metal pieces at a I guess it was considered a flea market they had these for 10 cents a piece so anyhow I'm going to put I'm going to use this metal piece and I'm going to put some embossing powder on it see how that goes I got an old book that's, uh, um, they were just giving them away. I guess they had been in the library, and it's an old Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. And so I was going to use some of the pages out of this. I thought that was cool. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and I just bought a new little cutter. I have the, um, the Fisker's Pro cutter but I just needed something small to when I'm just working on little cards and stuff so we're gonna see if I like this I don't know I got it at Joanne uh, actually I went to Michael's and I got 40% off plus 20% off um, of of everything so I don't know we'll see how how we feel about it but um, I'm gonna start off with an a2 card so it's eight and a half by five and a half so I'm gonna actually go ahead and um, go to the A2 section here, which would be four and a quarter. And we're going to fold that. Get my um, Teflon bone folder, which is my favorite. And um, I thought we would start off with some of this Sense and Sensibility paper. didn't want to read through it but I doubt if there's vulgarity in there <laughs> okay so before I glue that I'm going to use some of this uh, Tim Holtz distress vintage photo and I'm going to distress the edges of my paper I might do the edges of the card as well. So I'm going to have this very vintage and shabby chic. Yeah. Okay, we'll see about the back later. I'm going to use some of my art glitter glue. I'm just totally making this up as I go. Putting the thing back in my glue. I also got uh, one of these from um, Joann's. It was $2.99, but it was, I think it was 40% off any one item. So, Okay, and then I also got um, this stencil I thought was kind of fun. So I think I'll use a little bit of the edge of some of this stencil. So what I thought I would do is just... Um, well, i do a couple different things. One thing I can do is just use this <laughs> moving it around a little bit too much. Move, uh, use this ink to do that with, like that, which is kind of cool. But I thought it might be kind of fun to use some of this modeling paste. 
I thought that would be fun to use a little bit of that. So, give me a little spatula here. Do it up here just a little bit, maybe even a few of those dots. Ooh. Ooh, this maybe this isn't the best thing to use, right? Kind of thick. I was going to use these little circles there too. Yeah. Let's see what we think about that. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Maybe a little thick. We'll see. Let's do one more little place. Right down here. watermark stamp pad. We're going to stamp this. Okay. Put some pink. Beautiful. It's called, which color is this called? Ballerina pink. Looks pretty. set this on just a little piece of cardstock there and I'm going to take this pour it back into the bottle this over here get my little heat gun back out again scissors. This was the other thing I got. How adorable are those? I ordered these on Amazon as well. So, so, so cute. here. I, I really like this um, crocheted lace. It's flat. However, this is kind of big for this card, but since I'm trying to use everything that I just bought, um, I may have to use just a little piece of this. So let me get out a little bit bigger scissors, I think. Let's just use a piece along this way. Okay. Maybe we'll do that and then just put something up there. Okay, so I don't want to hide the whole entire thing there, so.
I like it actually scrunched a little bit. I think that's kind of cool looking. And then we'll take and put this across. Maybe like that, because I like those little dots. Let's do that. I'm totally making this up as we go, so who knows what it's going to turn out to be, right? <laughs> Let me scrunch that up a little bit while it's drying. Oh, I ended up getting it over top of my little dots that I didn't want to do, right? Oh, such sweet little scissors that work so well. Oh, just using them makes me feel special. Oh, I love these. Aren't they adorable? Okay. Okay, so we have to have some text. We have to have some text. So I think we'll... I think we should use a different color than that. Um, huh. Well, let's see. Some gold. Let me try this gold that I've had forever. We're going to try a little bit of that. I'm just going to leave it on this because I'm just going to use my hand like this. And I want to just do it like that. Yeah. Do it there. That's kind of cool. Maybe across there. Maybe right there. Okay. That's kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. Wipe the gold off. Okay, and then, oh, that's so fun. Okay, so then we're going to use a little bit of this. Now, there's a couple ways to use this, from what I understand. I've never really used it. These are pretty cheapy brushes. So, let me make sure I'm in frame. Oh, let me close up this gold ink. Put it away right here. Okay, so... I'm going to put ooh, a little bit of that on this glass mat, and then I'm going to spray it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Got a long time ago up Joanne's, but it does spray. Ooh. Okay, so I was going to see about hmm, just doing a little bit of Huh. I don't know how you feel about that. And I've got more colors. Let's see. I've got, um, see, I didn't even know I bought these. But, oh, look how pretty this one is. Same color as my fingernail polish. Wowee. That is fun. Let's see. You can actually put this right on your project and spray it. Maybe I should try that. And what have I got to lose, right? Ooh, wowee. That's, I think that's too much. <laughs> Where's my little bitty water bottle again? Let me see. Oh, wow. That made the red get redder. Oh, we. Oh, it is considerably bright. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. These are pretty bright. You may have to put some white gesso on top of this stuff. It's too bright. Yeah. Too bright. <laughs> 
Wowee. Okay, so you just really need some pigment going on when you use those dudes, right? Wowee. Okay, well, there you have that. Get another um, baby wipe. Mm -hmm. Those are bright, I'm not going to lie. Even this little, um, oh, well, it's cherry balm, that's why in Catherine wheel so it is kind of a bright color okay so then let me get these are nouveau drops but i'll put those on um towards the end yeah at some point when we bright lighten it up then we'll use these and some flowers let me grab some uh gesso and i'll be here's a little bit of gesso i'm going to be really surprised if it's not <gasps> oh my word Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe I knew I should get it considerably lighter, right? So bright. So pink. I'm going to have to put a different color on that, you know? Just too much. I can put a big flower on top of that. Oops. Oh, dear. Take a paper towel. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. So what I can do to calm this down, for one thing, is uh, I'm going to leave that gesso there, which is right in the middle of my work area. Wow. Is I can take some of this Distress ink that's a little bit darker. Like um, maybe we can take some of this Gathered Twigs. And um, let me get a clean brush. I've got a, one of those water brushes that you... And I can put this... Yeah, darker color. Calm this whole thing down. Yeah, that's turning into a better, more vintage color, not so bright. There we go. Wow. I'll put a flower and cover that whole big thing there. Yeah, more... A little bit more down in this corner. In fact, I wonder if I could do that. Yeah. Put 
There's my little bitty water. I cannot keep tabs on that thing. wonder if I spray. Did that activate the pink or not so much? No. So let me take the white. Where did I put the brush for the white? Is that my white brush to begin with? Okay. And put uh, a little bit of that on here. Ooh, that's looking better. Some pretty white up here. On, yeah, there we go. I like that. Oh, I can't. That's so dark. Oh, now look what I did. There we go. Okay, so now let's take and we'll wipe this part all up. Okay, so I've used my little scissors. I've used part of my book. I've used um, my other stamp. Let's say I did not use the... I did not use the postage, but I think I'll use that on an envelope that I make to match it. And then I did not use this one, which is kind of cool. Um, maybe this Flora. That might be kind of cool. Uh, maybe I can use this. I wonder, do I dare go this dark? This is called Walnut Stain. Let's try it, shall we? And I'm just going to use this not on a block or anything. I'm just going to use it like just to press part of it on there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like it. And then maybe up here we'll put this one. Like that up, up in there. It's kind of cool. And then let's see. Hmm. Maybe part of this fancy one right here, or maybe it should be this side. Maybe we'll put that up here on the corner, like that. Okay. So that was pretty. Look what I stuck my hand in. Ugh. I was trying to save this, but it was really awful. I may have to save it on a little card piece of cardstock and get it out of my way. That is really pretty. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Okay, so what else did I get new that I have to use? So. Okay. 
All right, let me put my little slickery paper back on there. Put it back over here. What if I did that really dark uh, color in the center a little bit? How about I do that? Oh, I already have the lid off. This is the reason I wanted to get this um, glass mat. The Tim Holt one is so cool, the black one, you know, and and yet um, I'm af I was afraid it would take up too much of my desk. And I think I'm going to just, since I'm going to cover this with flowers, I think I'm going to dab that a little bit and get some of that off. Because there's no point in now it wouldn't hurt to put the dark on that area just in case it shows underneath Okay, so I think at this point I might tear some uh, paper, some kind of cool looking paper. Okay, let me see what I've got here. I've got some Music paper and this paper and this paper. Oh, that's a lot of some of what I have already on there. These little music notes are pretty cute. Nice. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, we'll look through. That's enough choices. Okay, so let's take and put, uh, I think some of this green would be awful nice. Let me dry this just a little bit. Hang on. And some of this green in the edges, of course. Hmm. I think this would have been nice to come from up underneath here. Yeah. In the middle more. I'll have to pull it up. There we go. some gentle flowers and here's some little doilies these are a little bit let's see I 
can see. I'm going to have to move this just so it's really bugging me. Really, really bugging me. So I'm going to put it on this black and save it over here. And then wipe it off. It's right in my working place. One of my very favorite things ever. Woo! See, here we go. Yay! <laughs> I love this. Okay, so make sure you can see what's going on. So I was thinking some of these little... This might be nice. We have to have about three of those. Let's see. One, two, three. We'll leave those out. And then I'm going to get out some... I've got quite a lot of pearls. These are kind of cool looking too. I have some of these that actually, oh, that's pretty. We have little ones sticking out. These would be better maybe right here, this group. Mm, yeah, let me cut this group with my fancy new little scissors. Let's see. Leave this one hanging off and cut this.
Okay, so it needs a little bit of um, at least the Nouveau drops. Let me get those. These are the crystal, I mean, these are the glitter ones. Okay, I don't want to use glitter. So let's do a couple of these and try it on here first. They say to stay down in the well till you're done. a little pointy. <laughs> I guess it calms down. <laughs> okay, so I think we should use some gold ones. So. Oh, 
I know what I can do. I do that. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so then we'll decorate the inside as well. But I think I'm gonna let this dry and put some gentle paper inside so you could write a message. There you have it. Okay. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that I did get a book of these that I forgot to use. Um, Tim Holt, I got these. They were on sale at Joann's. So what I did was I cut, I took off one of the little memories and I inked it and tore it and then I just took a little piece of, you know, I forget exactly which paper it is, and I inked it and then I just hot glued it off of there saying memories. Then I, uh, you know, I inked the back and, and put that on there and then I just uh, glued two white card stocks inside so that it would be pretty and I might put like a paper clip of something there you know kind of a fun tag or something and then you could write in here would be fun to have like a way cool picture of somebody if you were talking about that but okay so all right so that's what we've done so far and then I'll do the envelope I've got to figure out how to make myself a little box envelope so that it can actually be poofy and come up a little bit on each side and then hold it in. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll get that on the next video. Okay? We'll see all you good people later. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.